In this video today, we're going to talk about how to solve logarithmic equations. So first, you should know that you can solve logarithmic equations by using the properties of logarithms. So we use the product and quotient and power properties when condensing and expanding logarithms. So we have log base 4 of 3 plus 2 times log base 4 of x plus 3 times log base 4 of y minus log base 4 of 4. <clears throat> minus 4 times log base 4 of z. So if you recall, we're adding, um, when we have these addition signs up here, we are going to multiply those things. And also, when we are subtracting, so these two terms here, um, when we condense, they become division. So these two terms are going to go to the bottom, whereas these three terms are going to stay on the top. Now also remember that the coefficients become the exponents when they're condensed. So this 2 right here is going to go up there as an exponent. This 3 is going to go right there as an exponent. And this 4 is going to go as an exponent. So notice below, as we move these down there, then we have our log base 4. We have our 3 here times our x squared. That's what this term is right here. Times our y to the third. Again, we're moving that as the exponent. Then these minuses go to the bottom. So we have our 4. And then we have, again, our z to the fourth. So notice here, then we have 3x squared y to the third over 4z to the fourth. And all of this is taken to the log base 4. So don't forget, we have to check answers for extraneous solutions. So example 1a and b, we're going to go ahead and solve these logarithmic equations now. So the very first thing we're going to do is simplify this. So we're going to divide everything by negative 2 right here. And that's going to give us log base 3 of 6x, and that equals negative 1. Now, if you recall, we can now use the exponential rule here, or basically change this into an exponent. So this is going to be 3 to the negative 1 is equal to 6x. So 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3, and that's equal to 6x. So here again, we're going to divide both sides by 6 which is the same as multiplying by 1 6. So I'm going to show it to you that way because that's probably the way most of y'all would do this. So we're going to multiply this by 1 6. So that's going to give us 1 over 18 is equal to x. And we can check this again the same way that we've been checking things by plugging it into the calculator and making sure that negative 2 log base 3 of 6 times 1 8 um, would be 2. Okay. So now I'd like you guys to go ahead and do this. You try down here. Um, and come back to me when you're done. So this one, like the other one, we're going to divide it by 3 first, right? So we're going to divide both of these sides by 3. So that's going to give us log base 6 of 2x minus 1. And that's going to now equal a negative 1. So again, we're going to put an exponential form. So it's going to be 6 to the negative 1 is equal to our 2x minus 1. Remember that we switch sides when we put it in exponential form. So now this is 1 sixth again, like the prior one was. This is going to be 2x minus 1. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. And you can do this by adding 6 over 6 because that's 1, right? So that's 7 over 6, which is equal to 2x. So here again, we would multiply by the reciprocal of, because we have our fraction on the other side, we want to go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. So we're going to multiply both sides by 1 half. Um, so that's going to give us 7 over 12, and that's what's equal to x. And once again, you can plug that back up in there and see if you get it. Now let me show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take that 7 over 12 and multiply by 2. So 2 times, in my parentheses, 7 divided by 12. That gives us 1.1667. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that. And that gives us 1.6667. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> and um, then we're going to go ahead and do the uh, change of base formula here. So I'm going to do the log of this. So I'm going to say the log of what I just got, which was my second answer down here. So that's what we got. And I'm going to divide that by the log of 6. Actually, let's go back. Let's hmm. divide that by the log of 6, which is our uh, base. 
and that gives us minus 1. If we multiply, multiply minus 1 times 3, right, we get negative 3. And that was the answer. So once again, we can check that. So recall again, if we get a negative value that we're taking a log of, that's going to be an extraneous solution. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, B over here. So I'm going to now just take 5 to the 8th power. So remember our base, take it to the power of what's on the other side of the equal sign and set that equal to what we're taking the log base of. So that's 5 to the 8th, and 5 to the 8th is 390,625. And that's going to be equal to x to the 4th. So the way we get rid of that 4th power is to take it to the 1 4th. So we're going to do that to both sides. And when we take 390,625 to the 1 4th power, we're going to get 25. Now here's the key with this. Um, we got to remember that it's going to be plus or minus because anytime we take an even root, our answer is going to be a plus or minus in front of it. However, um, sometimes that plus or minus will be true and sometimes it won't. So how do we check that is by putting it in here and seeing if it becomes positive. And in this case, it will. So there are going to be two answers here. So this one, again, has two answers because when we take the fourth power of both a positive and negative, it becomes positive. So we're still going to take the log of a positive number. All right, so now go ahead and do, um, put this, pause me and go ahead and do this next problem, little letter B here, the you try. Come back to me when you're done. So here we go again. So we're going to go 2 to the 8th is equal to x squared. Well, 2 to the 8th is 256, and that's going to be equal to x squared. And here again, this is an even root. So that means we're going to take the 1 half power of both sides. And so we're going to get, again, plus or minus 16 and that's going to be equal to our x. And, and again, that's because when we square a negative 16, it becomes a positive number. So both of those are our answers. All right, so the next um, three examples and you tries are um, going to be uh, logs, okay? So here again, we're going to do 3 to the 4th, is equal to 9 halves x. So 3 to the 4th is 81. So this is going to be 81 is equal to 9 halves x. Well, we want to multiply by the reciprocal of that. So that's going to be 2 ninths. And multiply this by 2 ninths. And when we do that, 81 divided by 9 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So this is going to be 18 is equal to x. Now, once again, you can do this in your calculator and see um, the 81 times 2 ninths is 18. Okay. And go ahead and plug it back up in there just to check and make sure that it's right. You can do that again in your calculator um, by doing the log of 9 halves times 18 divided by the log of 3 and see if that's 4. All right, so go ahead and do this next one, the example 2a. Come back to me when you're done. So we're doing 4 to the 3rd is equal to 1 half x. Well, 4 to the 3rd is 64. So this is going to be 64 is equal to 1 half x. And the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. So we're going to multiply by both sides by 2. So this is going to be 128 is equal to x. And once again, you can check that by taking a half of 128, which is 64. And um, log base 4 of 4 to the 3rd is 3, right? Because 64 is 4 to the 3rd. So you can actually almost check that one without the calculator. All right. 1 is log base 4 of 100 minus log base 4 of x plus 1 equals 1. So here we're going to use our properties to combine this. So we've got our log base 4 of 100. And then we're dividing that by our x plus 1, right? And then that's still equal to our 1. So now we're going to do our base equal to what's on the other side. Our base to the power of what's on the other side is equal to what we're taking the base log of. So this is going to be 4 to the first is equal to 100 over x plus 1. So that's obviously going to be 4, right, is equal to 100 over x plus 1. Got to multiply both sides by our x plus 1. Okay, so that's going to give us 4x plus 4 is equal to 100. So now we're going to subtract the 4 from both sides. So that's going to give us 4x equals 96. And we're going to divide both sides by 4. So x is going to be equal to 24. And once again, you can plug that 24 back up in there to see if what you get is actually the answer. Okay. 
So go ahead and do um, the you try below. Um, log base 4 of 2x. Okay, so you're going to combine first, all right, just a reminder. So go ahead and do that. Come back to me when you're done. So you've got log base 4 of 2x times 20, and that's going to be divided by our 5 is equal to 4. So we're going to go ahead and um, simplify this, okay? So we're going to have log base 4 of, that's going to be 40x divided by 5 equals 4. So 40 into 5 into 40 is going to be log base 4 of 8x, right? That's going to be equal to 4. So now we're going to take it to our power. So we're going to take 4 to the 4th is equal to 8x. Well, 4 to the 4th is 256. So we're doing 256 is equal to 8x. Going to divide both sides by 8. So x is going to be equal to... Hmm... What did I get here? I'm on the next page, 32. And once again, you can plug that 32 bucket back up in there to check it, okay? So here's our third one. So this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move these exponent, this uh, leading coefficient to be an exponent. And so I'm going to say the log of x squared divided by 4. Okay, the x squared's on top because it was positive, and the, the 4's on the bottom because it's negative, and then that's 0. Now remember, if there is no base, the base is 10, right? So we're going to say 10 to the 0 power is equal to x squared divided by 4. Well, 10 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is 1, so that's going to be 1 is equal to x squared divided by 4. Then we're going to multiply by both sides by 4 to get rid of that 4 in the denominator, so 4 is going to be equal to x squared. So then we're going to take square root of both sides, right? Take it to the one-half power. What you need to remember is when we multiply this by the one-half power and this by the one-half power, we're going to get plus or minus 2 here, and that's going to be equal to x. Well, the question is, are both of those going to be true? The answer is no. And the reason for that is because we can't take a negative log. So that means when we put that negative 2 up in here right there, then it's not going to be true. So the only answer here is going to be x is equal to 2. So our next problem, um, I see a plus sign. I don't see any subtraction signs. So I'm going to say log uh, log base 2 of x times our x plus 2. Because remember, when we're adding, we're really multiplying. And that's equal to our log base 2 of x plus 6. So this time, we can go back to our old rule, which is when we have the same basis here, we can just set the other things equal to each other. So we can say x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x. That's going to be equal to our x plus 6. So we're going to subtract x from both sides, and we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So that's going to give us x squared plus x minus 6. That equals 0. So we're going to go ahead and factor this. So what are the two factors of negative 6 that add up to be positive 1? So that would be x minus 2 and x plus 3. We will set both of those equal to 0. So that's going to give us x equals 2 and x equals negative 3. So here again, we have a negative number, and we can't take this log base 2 of negative 3. We're going to get um, an error in our calculator. So this is actually our answer this time. So now we're going to do examples 3a and b, and you try 3a and b. So now we have an ln. So rules are the same with ln. So we're going to do ln of x times our x plus 1, and that's going to be equal to ln of 2. Well, the difference here is we have an ln now on both sides. So those lns um, we can eliminate, and we can just do x times x, which is x squared plus x, because x times 1 is x, and that equals 2. So then we're going to subtract that 2, move it to the other side. So it's going to give us x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to factor this. And what are the factors of negative 2 that add up to be 1? That would be x plus 2 and x minus 1, right? So we're going to set equals those equal to 0. So we've got our x equals negative 2 and our x equals 1. So here again, we have an ln of x, and so we can't take the ln of a negative number, so our answer is going to be the 1, okay? Let's see if you guys can do this one below that you try 3a. So now the only difference about this one is we're going to go ahead and take that to a power, right? So this is going to be ln of 
3x minus 4, and that's going to be equal to the ln of 3 to the fourth, right? So now that we have these two things, I'm going to keep going down one more step, and then we're going to set them just equal to each other by eliminating the ln. So this can be ln of 81. No, wait, that's not ln. Yeah, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we're just going to, because we have lns on both sides of the equal sign, we're just going to do 3x minus 4 is equal to 81. We're going to add the 4 to both sides. So we're going to get 3x equals 81, and we're just going to divide both sides by 3. So we're going to divide this by 3 and this by 3. So our x is going to be equal to 28.333, okay? All right, so now let's go up to our 3b example, okay? So this time, again, we're going to move this over as the exponent. We're going to move this over to be the exponent. So this is going to be ln of x squared plus ln of x squared equals 4. Well, this time we're going to have an ln of what? x squared times x squared, and that's going to be equal to our 4. So how do we get rid of an ln? Do you guys remember? Yep, we take it to the e. So that means we're doing when we do that, that cancels out the ln. So now we just have x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth. And that's going to be equal to e to the fourth. Well, e to the fourth is 54.598. Now, how do we get rid of a fourth power? We take it to the one fourth power, right? So we're going to take both of these sides to the one fourth power. Now, remember, when we take anything to the one fourth power, again, we're going to get a positive, or neg positive and negative, right? So this is going to be x is equal to plus or minus um, 2.718. Now, what we know is we can't take the uh, log of a negative number, right? So that means our only answer is going to be x is equal to the positive 2.718 because we cannot take the log of a negative number, okay? All right, let's see if you guys can do this last one down here. So here again, we're going to make that the exponent, right? So this is going to be 3 is equal to ln of 8 plus ln of x to the third. Now we're going to, we're going to condense that. So that's going to be 3 is equal to ln of 8 times x to the third. So what do we do to get rid of the ln again? We take it to the e power, right? So we're doing e to the third, which is 20 point 086, and that's going to be equal to 8x to the third. Okay, so we divide both sides by our 8. That's going to give us 2.511, and that's equal to our x to the third. Now, do you guys remember how we get rid of an x to the third? Yes, we take it to the one-third power. So we take both sides here to the one-third power. Now remember, we take things to an odd power. We don't have to worry about changing the sign or doing plus and minus. It is what it is. So this is going to be 1.359. That's going to be what x is equal to. And, and recall, again, you guys can go ahead and put these in the calculator and check them to make sure that the answers are correct.